Hey, what's up? What can okay. I do for you? So my name's Andy. I got you something that you requested on the last video. I requested on the last video. What is it? The bag of carrots. Bag of what? <laughs> that is hilarious. That is crazy. So yeah, me and Vicky, when we did the last video, we were talking about the sweets and I said in a video, no, Vicky actually said in a video, don't don't send us any more sweets. Send us celery or carrots. Well, I appreciate it, man. That's so cool. That is funny. Thank you. Uh, historical figures. Some raisins. Let's see. Uh, I can always take a look at one of my or something. Okay, I'll do Somebody did a welding job on this one. It's cracked in half here. Hey, guys. Hey. Hey, how are you? I'm well, I'm well. Good. Yeah. Keep on your coming, man. Is that real? <laughs> <laughs> hey, y'all. Probably no one this and no one that down there, right? I saw your web page. There's a snap-on round thermometer. Uh, Peter, right? Yes, yes. Andrew, sorry. Yes, yes. If you went on a website, I got a feeling that one is if, sold. If it was like an offer up or something, yeah, it's gone. You're kidding. That's what I wanted to do. <coughs> yeah. Because I got to go on there and actually remove links <coughs> and set new link up. And... Okay. So yeah, I don't think I have anything actually from Snap on for advertising at the moment. Not like that, okay. Yeah. The only thing I get is like Snap on Nemo is like that. It's hard to look the door over there. No, I look for this. I need a thermometer just like this. Gotcha. Yeah, I got nothing. Actually, no, there's, you know, right as you enter through the other door, there is a thermometer hanging right by the edge there. No, but Pretty I wanted to Snap on You wanted to Snap yeah, on yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to sell you just a thermometer. No, well, that's okay. Yeah, sorry, I'm just, Andrew. Just passing by, so um. Yeah, for sure. Good to see you, Peter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. of course. Stop by again, Andrew. Yeah, I'm waiting for fishing season to start, right? No kidding. <laughs> you can go ice fishing, though. <laughs> that's too cold for me. <laughs> <laughs> What are these really? They're, I forget who made them. They're uh, like from the 60s. They're presidents. Like the, I think it's the original 32 presidents or something like that. Uh, I, I forget the toy number. I saw him on eBay for like 60 or 80 or something. I see two guys here. Like look, one sold for 50, one sold for 60 bucks here. Okay. There's one up here sure. too. This one, they took an offer. They were asking 58.95. Yeah. They took an offer. They look like they're in a really good condition, though. Because all these guys who collect this stuff, condition is everything, you know. Yeah. Including the box. I mean, if it's nice and clean, and all the edges and corners are not beat up, that's what's important for these people, you know. Yeah. And this one, you know, is a little rough. Yeah. I hear you. Feeling a little bit here. Uh, something like this, I can offer you like $15. That's fine. You know? Because comparing to this, I'll probably get maybe 30 bucks instead of 50. You know what I mean? Because of those yeah, little fair. issues. Uh, anything in this box, I think I'm going to pass. It's just too, a little bit too rough. Okay. There was one bird whistle thing. Did you see the old? Oh, no, I didn't. I don't think it's worth much, but it looked old to me. For boys and girls. Look at that, both genders. Full package. Sure. Interesting. I'm not going to put my mouth against it now. No, I wouldn't. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't either. You know, I can't really find anything on this. No? I guess I could get some of the advertising. So. Just advertising, like paper advertising, booklets and stuff. But Oh, here it is. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Is that it? No, that's, that's advertising. That's a sign. Yeah, that's no. a sign. I think it's 250. It's a nice big sign. I'm like, ooh, 250 bucks. But actually, it looks like the same. Yeah, it's the same logo and everything. Logo, but 
It's it's a sign that it got rivets on it. Yeah, and it's about 250 bucks worth of it. That's your so. Give me fuck ten bucks for it or five bucks. I don't care. I mean, it's cool. Uh, yeah, like a five dollar item here. That's fine. You know. That's fine. What is this thing? This, you know, I was gonna look that up. That's the one I bucks. set it aside. Made in Maku. Where the hell's Maku? Scale of one. 136. This is. Ah, it's got a date. I can't read it. No, it's not a date. It's from the Oregon. 80s. I know that. I remember having it. Cabriolet. That's where you need to start right now. Oh, yeah. At least for this. And I get those two mic stands in the air purifier over there. The two mic stands are really interested, but the humidifier and the purifier. I don't yeah, think those. Oh, the 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 yeah, these two. These two we're gonna pass. We'll probably talk to Nick or something, but. Okay. But the net, the mic stands, you're looking on them at like, ten bucks a pop. You know. I think this guy I'm gonna pass. The pipe is broke off up front. The bumper up front is broke off too. Okay. So it's kind of you know I just messed up know what a little it bit. Was. Uh, usually I do pretty good with actually miniature. Um, VWs like that diecast, but I, I can look it up just yeah, out of curiosity. But this one is missing the top. Thirteen. That's the number on it. Thirteen oh three Cabriolet seven ninety nine. You know what I mean? Yeah. And this one does have a back bumper. But it doesn't have the top. Huh? But it doesn't have the top. There you go. Maybe I can take the top off and sell to this guy for six, three dollars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna pass it. You can just keep it. I don't need it. No, it's you know, it's incomplete. So it's, okay. yeah, it's just hard. So you got everything? I have that little tin thing, the two mic stands, and these. So what are we doing on 15, that? Fifteen. Fifteen dollars on a Stargate SG1. Doctor Daniel Jackson. My favorite, whoever he is. <laughs> <laughs> you got everything? Yep. Okay. Forty. Forty-five bucks. Let's see if this works. I'm gonna blow this yeah, right through this. <laughs> Nothing. Real well. I want my money back. You already bought it. Sorry, I signed. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's out of oxygen. Yeah, right. Maybe I'm out of oxygen. <laughs> Thank you, man. Right, I'll be back in for this. Okay. You know, can you toss the humidifier? I don't need it. Huh? Just toss the humidifier. Okay. I'll be back in the purifier. I guess he donated humidifier to us. Yeah. So we got, how many you said we got here? 30? I think I counted 32. 32. So we got all these presidents. They gonna need to be cleaned up. Let's see if uh, there we go. Thirty-two of them. Some of them have some kind of paint on them, like a latex, latex paint that it's peeling off. See, like that. We got a whole bag of them. Thirty-two. For these, we gave them ten dollars. They go anywhere depending on a condition, from like forty bucks to eighty bucks. Depends how many you got. You know. For the most part, mo most of them are clean. There's few that have that blue paint, like this one. Then we got the Stargate, Dr. Daniel. Off the camera, you guys can't see here. There's two microphone stands there sitting there. And then that little whistle that doesn't seem to work. So. Pretty cool. Maybe not enough juice, lights blink, but nothing happens. Here, you want me to grab one of my batteries? Yeah, if you can, if you don't yeah. mind, if you have one. Yeah. Alright, I guess I'll clean this up. Two oh, bucks. Hey, Ben. Pretty good. How about you, stranger? Good. Huh? 
Good? Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. Good to see you, as always, man. Better, better. Good, good. You're hanging in there, man. Yep. No so. choice. <laughs> no choice. <laughs> I asked God always... to take me in the hospital and he didn't take me, so I realized I was in for the long haul. <laughs> so I got to tough it out. Hey, Marty, you feeling dry at all? You want a humidifier? You need a humidifier? How dry are you feeling? Yeah? Your skin is dry? There we go. I plugged it in and it seems like it works. It was throwing it to us. Perfect. I'll take it. And then I'm willing to part ways with that too. It's a Rockwell ported multi tool, but it also has the sanding attachment for it. Okay. So on this guy, tool only, um, I can offer you either 50 cash or 60 store credit. That's all I can do on it. And that's without, you know, a box because yeah. most of them look brand new, $112. Yeah. Uh, 116, 112. You know, there's one here. Somebody even selling yep. with the battery for 99. You know what I mean? So. Yeah. Uh, we'll see you later. And this guy. Yeah. Yep. Uh, see you, Pete. Take it easy, guys. Have a good one. You Stay too. warm. Try it. I think the cat wants to come home with me. She wants to come home with everybody. I have on my shoulders a few times. <laughs> I was going to say, she has to be picked up and held like a baby. Oh, yeah. she's sweet. She's following you around because she's like, pick me up, mama. I already have that. Yeah. 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 So yeah, I don't think you want to hear what I can offer you on that one. Look, new, 20 bucks, 30 bucks, that's what it's selling. If it's a new one, uh, these are like open boxes, 60 bucks, you know, 50 bucks. So for the used one like this, for mm -hmm. me, like $15, you know. Mm -hmm. Credit, 20 bucks, cash, 15, you know? So, you're taking a beating on that one, you know? Yeah. Mm. All right, well, I bought I, I, I bought my stuff. Let me think about it. Let me try to sell this sell this watch or I'll bring that. Well, I don't know, try to sell Whatever it. Whatever you decide to do, man. I mean, that my offer stance, if you still want to do any of this stuff, you know what's going on. All right. You know, this one is here if you still want it to, so. Okay. Okay? All right, I appreciate it. No problem. Have a good one. You too. Let me move this. So Ryan has been to your, what is it called? Kitsch? I can't even say this. I, I want to say it's Ki like in Munsing or something. Kitschy Tiki Kippy? How are you? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I have no How idea. do you say this? The Big Springs. But no, I went up to uh, And Mackinac. this is Palms Book State Park. In Ramos, Michigan? I went, uh, I went from Marquette to Thank you. Rock State Park, and then, and then uh, I went to Mackinac Island, and yeah. then on the way back I visited that, nice. that natural yeah. spring. The Marquette, I used to go there all the time, up north, and some fly fishing for salmon. Yeah. From the rivers coming in from Lake Michigan. Well, the, the box is getting full. We got a few days left, about a week. We got about a week left, and there's quite a few here already. So, hey, we got this for the end, too. Oh, yeah, yeah, these are the, the alpacas. The alpacas. They gonna, they're gonna love those. I got a question. Yes, yeah. sir. So, one, I don't know if these things even have any value, but this is Sansui stereo equipment from the 70s. Mm -hmm. In Absolutely. Working, working condition. Everything is in working condition? Yeah. So it definitely question. has a value. Okay. So how does how does it work? Do you, so do you, do you buy I mean do you do you buy it? Do you see just around the corner? So this is stuff that it's 80s, 90s here. Around okay. the corner, if you go here, I keep all the vintage stuff from 60s and 70s. Okay. Uh, and it of course depends on a unit. Like when you say working order, where's the last time you played this deck? Uh, it's been years. Okay, 
Because what happens, like for example, with something like this, those belts inside, they disintegrate, right. Right. they dry right, they, right. you know, so, oh, yeah. um, so I would love to see it, plug it in, make sure it runs. Oh, if yeah. it doesn't, oh, yeah. it still is worth money, even if it doesn't run, you know, correctly, for, it can for, still, well, not necessarily for parts, parts but oh, it could be fixed, okay. put new belts on it. So okay. I got to take that into consideration, consideration. as I'm sure. buying, because sure. if I need to spend a few dollars on mm -hmm. my guy who's going to do all the work, you sure. know. Sure, sure. Um, I definitely would be interested. You got all three of them. Yeah. What kind of condition you ju would you say one 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 out of ten? Because uh, this is forty year equipment right. now, fifty it's year. Probably, you know, you know so. probably right in the middle five. Okay. Okay. I can give you a rough idea, at least so you have you know like. Because I know that you know, I know you got to you got to see it. You got to make sure it works, and if it doesn't, then yeah. you know. Is it worth fixing? I, I get all that. So I just thought I would come in with this just to understand how things work. Now let me ask you another question. Any sure. of this equipment you still have original boxes or no? Probably not. Sometimes people mm, keep them, you know, but the, yeah, it's uh, hard. No, I can tell you that I hang on to a lot of boxes, but this is, you know, this is too going long, back. Too, too far. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, this is going back to. When I, I didn't, I didn't know any better, so I got rid of the box. Nobody did, you know. You just, it's like you buy now a TV. Are you gonna keep the box? No, you don't. You know, but you don't I, think. But I do. But I did hang on to the to the manuals. Manuals, well, yeah. Whatever yeah. that's worth. So Sansui stuff, Kenwood Pioneer, uh, very sought after stuff. Uh, just to give you a general idea, and sure. it's, it's gonna be based strictly on a condition. Absolutely. A, a tape deck like this one, the SC 1100G, it will sell anywhere between 150 to about 300 dollars, depending on the condition. condition. Okay. Uh, let's say it's mid-grade, maybe it will sell for about 200 bucks. For yeah. me, you're gonna get about 100. Okay. 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 Turntable. Uh, I pay a little bit more attention to turntables because they're oh. fragile. The torn arm, you know, right. might have issues. Understood. Now, this is a direct drive unit, so we don't have to worry about the belt on it. Um, but once again, does is the lid is closing correctly? Is it sure. scratched up Understood. or is it clean? You know, all stuff like this. Yep. This is actually pretty sought after unit. The SR300 uh, series, this one is 333. This is probably a $400 unit if it's in good working work order, order and nice and clean okay if it's okay about three so again about half yeah. of that yep um this receiver probably about the same price as a turn turntable depends okay. how much is on the market sure now the turntables are a little bit harder to find receivers they were a little bit more massive produced back in the day so there's a little bit more sure. of them out there still sure. but Probably between three to four hundred re uh, retail. Okay. From me, about you know yeah. two to fifty, right. something like that. So okay. It gives you at least a rough idea. Yeah. Um, okay. And yeah. then once again, if you bring them, bring we'll it test in. them. I, could, I get it. I get and it. And we go from there. Okay, you know? great. So, and then you can always say, "I don't like your offer. I'm out of here." Or, "Great, let's do it." You know what I mean? No hard feelings. That's sure. how we work. Okay, I appreciate it. Fantastic. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Bye bye. Bye bye. So the collection of the records is nicely growing remember i only had like three and a half bins filled up here now we are almost at the half and i keep moving over so quite a few we added already from uh from roger collection a lot of them are on display but i also want to show you something really cool guys i picked up a phenomenal collection also of laser discs probably about a week ago that I traded a guy for uh, I traded him for a very nice Sanyo turntable 260 laser disc mixture of all kinds of movies from drama thriller action there's some uh, older movies here too but let me show you some titles and these are in spectacular condition as well back in the day when this format came out it was extremely expensive throughout mid 80s to late 80s it was competing with vhs and to go out and buy a laser disc like this one for example this is ghost obviously great movie this would be like 
$59 or $69 per disc. So it was extremely expensive format to be enjoyed by the general public. And that's why I think it mainly died. Plus the players were very expensive. You know, the Pioneer was behind this and some of these players would cost, you know, five, six, seven hundred dollars as high as a thousand bucks for a player versus, you know, a VHS from Panasonic would be 249 and a cassette with the brand new VHS cassette, a movie would be, you know, 1499, 1999. So there was no reason for the general public to go out and buy these. Because just to give you an idea, if like this collection right here, 260 laser discs back in a day even if you paid on a cheaper side like 50 bucks a pop that's thirteen thousand dollars sitting right here can you imagine that that's insane so that's why this never survived don't get me wrong the quality was pretty good uh for back in the day in 80s when you played a laser disc it was exceptionally good quality comparing to vhs but the big downside was you could not record on this format right vhs boom you can Put it in, set your clock, and you can record your favorite show. No, not happening with this, but let me show you some great titles here. Obviously, I'm not gonna go through all 260 of them. I'll just show you a few. Look at that, Ghost. Steven Seagal, Above the Law. How about that, Rocky II, Rocky III, Rocky IV. Oh, look at that, La Bamba. That was a great movie. What year was that? 80s? Mid, mid, mid 80s, right? Or late 80s? I don't see the date on it. Has to be like mid 80s. Look at that, Predator. That was a great mood, movie with Arnold. Great movie. Lethal Weapon. Smokey and the Bandit 2. This is Disco Vision though. Lampoon Vacations, huh? How about that? National Lampoon Vacation, Chevy Chase. Mask. Over the Top with Stallone. That was a good movie, too. Yeah. Look at that. Romancing the Stone, huh? That was a classic. That was 84, 85, I think. Project X uh, with Matthew Broderick. That was a great movie. So, some great titles here, you know. Police Academy. Who didn't like Police Academy? That was a hilarious comedy. Superman 2. Tequila Sunrise. That was a great movie. And look at these. These are fantastic. And for those of you who don't know this format, look at this. It's like a big CD. Nice and thick not a scratch on these these are phenomenal you know beautiful condition so i haven't decided how i'm gonna tackle this yet there's not much money here um meaning like most of this stuff individually will sell maybe between five to ten dollars so i think i'm gonna lot them up and put them on ebay if there's interesting titles if i get like you know couple supermans or um all the schwarzenegger movies oh look at this a league of their own that was a madonna gina davis tom hanks that was a great movie here's a classic greece here's another schwarzenegger movie see so i can maybe lot them up all all arnold movies put it all together and that way it will be worth my time there's lots of oldies here too Muppet movie. Oh, look at Richard Pryor. Some kind of hero. Lots of Clean Eastwood stuff here. Uh, there's probably 10 to 15 Clean Eastwood movies here. Yeah, I, I haven't decided. A beautiful collection. I don't think I can sell them here in a shop. It will take me forever to sell this stuff. Honey, what are you doing? She's running like crazy underneath these cabinets. <laughs> Here in a shop, if I would sell these, it's gonna take me a very long time because the market, there's not much interest locally for this, you know? So I gotta put lots of eyeballs on it. So it's, it's definitely stuff that needs to go on eBay, I think. Because here, 
it will take long time and what I used to do with these when I would get few I would wait for a nice player and I would uh, make it like a bundle you know bundle you know 10 to 20 nice laser disc with a nice laser player that's way usually the best way to sell them but I'll, I'll let you guys know how this goes come on rope it's time it's time yes we have to go we have to lock up baby kiss give me a kiss no good girl all right guys time to lock up for us 7 p.m thank you thank you everyone for watching and i'll catch you guys on the next one cheers thank you Ha <laughs> ha